everyone, welcome back. Today is a very exciting video. I know I say that for every single video, but today is really exciting because as of recent, this is my most highly, highly requested video. We are doing milky skin for oily skin and it's the affordable edition. So all of the products I'm mentioning and I'm gonna show today are 20 or under, or if they're over 20, you can go lurk on Style Van, and they always have tons of sales where they mark it down a lot, so it's gonna be around 20. And just in case you're wondering if I'm qualified to give oily skin skincare advice, I know I have dry skin on my face, but I do deal with quite a bit of back knee, so I have an oily back and a dry face, so I've tested a lot of products um, for oily skin types and combo skin types, so I got I got you, don't worry, I have all the good recommendations. We can go right into the routine. For my last Milky Skin video, I actually did the steps I would typically do, so I'm going to do the same thing for this video, but I am going to start with double cleansing, which I don't do in the morning, but this will be like your night routine. For oily skin in the mornings, I recommend that you cleanse with either a milky cleanser or you can use your night cleanser, but just dilute it with a little bit more water so it's more gentle. I do recommend that you cleanse in the morning just to help with that extra oil that you accumulated overnight. Let's start with double cleansing. Again, the oil balm step is something you use at night. Everything else you can use in the day. So I have tons of favorites. I don't know where to start. I'm going to start with the Naturium Cleansing Balm. This one is the newest to me. I saw a lot of people recommend it. This is the Naturium Purple Ginseng Cleansing Balm. This one is really nice and simple. It reminds me of the Pharmacy Balm, but it doesn't have any scent. Actually, it has a little bit of like a vinegar scent. I think that's the ginseng, but this one's really nice. It still has water droplets on it because I used it yesterday, but let's take a look at the texture. It's quite light. When I do cleansing balms, I usually use maybe like a quarter size, but it melts really easily. It doesn't tug on the skin, and it's really thin and nice. It also leaves your skin feeling slightly moisturized, but not too much. And I think it's the perfect moisture level for oily skin. The beauty of Josie and One, this one is actually the scented version. They recently reformulated and came out with an unscented version. See, so you can see that I actually use quite a bit, but then I stopped because <coughs> even now smelling it, I might get a sneeze attack. The fragrance was really, really strong, but I'm glad that they made it unscented. I have to hold my nose for this one. This one is also super thin and it reminds me of a sorbet texture. It also melts in really easily, doesn't tug on the skin, instantly turns into an oil. And then the Item Beauty one. Everyone hates on Addison and her skincare and makeup line, but actually a lot of her products are my favorite and they're actually really good and affordable. This cleansing balm is the Slick Type cleansing balm. I really like that she has a little cap with this scooper that's separate from the actual balm. And this one is also lightly scented. It smells like eucalyptus, but it doesn't really bother me after you start massaging it in. The little scooper comes in so handy. This one is also really soft. You can see a trend that these are all very light on the skin. So obviously if you have oily skin, you don't want anything leaving a residue. But look, this one really is on par with all the other balms. Like it removes makeup really nicely. And I feel like tons of people are just making cleansing balms really well. Actually, before I fully wash it off, I don't know if you can see, but it's turning into a really nice milky texture. Kind of unlike the other balms. I mean, they do emulsify, but this one actually turns into a milky cleanser. Another favorite of mine is the Be Plain Greenful Cleansing Oil. You know that I really love the Be Plain Sika Ampule. I tried this mini one. I used it for so many days, but you can see that I still have so much left in this mini size. This cleansing oil is so good, it's so gentle. I really like it when I empty it. I'm definitely going to get a full size. You can see how liquidy this one is. It's so thin on the skin, almost like there's nothing there. And again, no residue. Yeah, it's unscented. It's gentle on the eyes. Great for sensitive skin. So even if you have acne prone skin, but you also have sensitive skin, it's a really good option. And then this one, I just recently almost emptied. 
It's the Paula's Choice Omega Cleansing Balm. Typically, this one is $28, but the other day I saw it on Paula's Choice website for $20, so I'm not sure if that's like a special sale, but if you do see it for $20, it's definitely a steal. Probably one of my top five favorite cleansing balms just because of how milky and soft it makes your skin feel even after but it doesn't leave any weird residue i really 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 like this one the last one i want to quickly mention is the claire's deep black cleansing oil i haven't opened this one yet because i have so many cleansing balms that i need to use up but this one was my favorite i used one up i gave one to my grandma and she uses that one every single day she says it's really gentle and her eyes are pretty sensitive so that says a lot this one's really good it takes off all your makeup although i haven't tested it on waterproof mascara but other than that it totally melts everything off i also want to mention really quickly that if you have oily skin Using oil balms and oils to remove your makeup is not going to make your skin oilier. That's a common misconception. That's actually going to take out more of the makeup and gunk that's built up over the course of the day. So it's actually going to be beneficial to your skin. It's going to protect your moisture barrier and they're very good. So please don't be afraid of them. That was a lot. Now let's get on to the second cleanse. So for acne prone skin, I recommend either a gel cleanser or a foaming cleanser. But for me personally, foaming cleansers can get a little bit tricky because they can be overstripping. So I tend to stick to a gel cleanser for my back and that's what I recommend to a lot of my friends. We have a lot of cleansers. I'm going to first start off with the Hero Cosmetics Milky Cleanser and I'm really excited about this one. This is one of the ones that you can use in the morning that's really gentle but still going to help refresh your pores. It literally says pore refresh and it's a really lovely milky consistency that's light it feels really refreshing and it's also very soothing because it has oatmeal in it another one that would be really great for the morning is the glossier milky jelly this is one of the products from glossier that i think actually deserves the hype i use it for my dry skin and it's also a great one for oily skin in the morning or when you want to be more gentle i have the travel size here that I brought with me on my trip. I gave one to my sister and my mom. It has a gel consistency that it looks like, but when you rub it in and you add some water, it turns into a really nice milky feeling gel. I think it's really, really unique and it feels so nice on the skin and so plush. And then I have four gel ones. First one is by Hiram. This is the Centella and Green Tea Cleanser. I actually think you get a really good bang for your buck with this one. It's really gentle. It's a thin gel. It's very, very jelly-like, like very thin. And it feels really good and refreshing on the skin. It doesn't bubble up too much, so it's gonna be very gentle too, but at the same time, it does a really great job at cleansing. I love this one. It's $20. It's so underrated. And of course, in typical Hiram fashion, it is unscented. Next is the Bubble Fresh Cleanser. This one is really nice too. It's a basic one that's really good. It foams up a little bit if you like that. I know some people like to see the bubbles. Great affordable option. This one is a new favorite of mine. It's the 107 Chaga Jelly. The only thing I don't like about this one is that it has little green tea particles in it and they say that's for exfoliation. Personally, I think that it would be so much better without them because they are a little bit big for my liking. But other than that, the jelly texture is so nice. And oh, I wish they would take out the green tea. It has a light fragrance, but it's just the natural green tea that's in it. And lastly, the Thayer's pH Balancing Cleanser. They also get a lot of hate. I don't know why. This one has aloe vera in it, which is great for soothing the skin. Oh, clearly it's very watery as you just saw, but it does foam up a little bit, but just enough to give you a good clarifying feeling, but it also hydrates your skin. Best of both worlds, right? It's so hard to pick a favorite, but I'd say this one wins by Selfless by Hyrule. I have to hand it to him, it's really good. He's putting down all those haters of influencer started brands. Okay, finally the part where I can start putting things on my face. My face is so dry, get, give me a minute. We're starting off with the toner phase. Toner is so essential to milky skin for all skin types. I talk about toner all the time. It's my favorite product category. You probably hear me talk about the same toner over and over, but that's because 
So many people have told me that once they try toner and they layer it up, their skin changes so much and I think that's so true because once you start incorporating a hydrating toner, your skin is going to feel so hydrated from the inside out, which is really what you want at the end of the day. I guess we can start out with this one. This is the Bubble Toner. It's their Bounce Back Refreshing Toner and it comes in a spray. They also have one where it has a pump. Honestly, the formulas are basically the same. If you don't really really have a preference for sprays i do i would suggest you get the pump because you get almost double the amount my favorite 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 toner ever as of now this is the rovectin lotus water toner i just emptied it literally yesterday there's nothing in here i have to get a new one but it is so nice on the skin it feels just like water with a little bit of viscosity but when you first layer it up, one layer, it's going to feel like nothing. But when you layer it three times, holy moly, your skin is going to feel so good and you're never going to go back. You're never going to go back. It's really good for all skin types. I don't know how they managed to do that in the formulation, but it's light enough so that even if you have really oily skin, it's going to be really hydrating. It's not going to add any oil, but if you have dry skin, it just... It works well too. It's just a matter of the number of layers, but I still think that three layers is... Rovectin also has a Sika toner that is a little bit lighter than the Lotus Water toner. So if you feel like your skin can't handle a lot of hydration, I think it can. But if you prefer something lighter, I really like that one. I gave it to my cousins who have combo skin, and that one is just really light, it's refreshing, great for this summer too. Next up, the Isn't Tree Toner, the classic green tea one that everyone loves. This one is really good for oily skin, but I also use it. It has a dark color that reminds me of like green tea. I don't know how to show this without it falling. I'm gonna use this one today. You just go like this, rub it and pat. You never wanna rub because that's gonna give you wrinkles faster. And it also, I feel like, makes the product evaporate faster and you really want all the product as much as you can to go into your skin. So I do a few shakes, rub it between my palms, and then pat it in. And instantly, my skin feels rejuvenated. And by the way, all the ones that I've mentioned so far are unscented, so that's really good. This one smells slightly like green tea, but I think that's just the green tea in it. This one is really nice. The ingredients are great. It says it has green tea from Jeju Island. Everyone likes green tea, tangerines, anything from Jeju Island. So this one's a win. And this is the Good All Vegan Rice Milk. It was one that I mentioned in my original Milky Skin video. It's pretty thick actually, like pretty viscous, but it's thin enough that even if you have oily skin, you can use this one. It's just hydration, so it's not going to add any oil content to your skin. None of the toners do. But I've gotten a lot of DMs saying that people have tried this one for their oily skin and it's really changed their skin because it's putting in that hydration and it's a little bit on the thicker side, so it's giving like almost a doubled up effect. When you do toner, you don't have to use multiple toners. Pick one toner and do three layers of it. You do not have to buy three different toners. I also want to mention the Tordin toner. I don't have it right now. I left it at school, but I had the mini one, but the big size, you get a fat bottle for a really good price. I think it is under $20 regular price. It's gonna last you so long and it's very similar to the Rovectin Sika one. It's very light, it's very watery, but it's still gonna add in that hydration, but it's very light. It's like almost nothing on your skin. I just remembered that I do have their toner pads and they're soaked in the toner. And these are probably, these are definitely, mm, these are probably my favorite toner pads ever. They are, first of all, they're huge. One covers like your whole cheek and I really like that they're tinted a little bit mint green. That's my favorite color. That has nothing to do with the formula. The formula is really good. If you like kind of masking but not putting on a full sheet mask, these toner pads also act as a really good quick sheet mask. And I just want to add in a bonus one. This is the Thayer's Unscented Facial Mist. And I've used quite a bit of it already. I already emptied one bottle because I bring it to the gym a lot when I'm at school. But 
If you wanna bring your routine up a little bit, I usually use this on my back, so I spray a first layer, and then I will follow up with the Rovectin Lotus Water Toner. This one has witch hazel in it, so it's going to clarify and treat your acne, but it still has aloe in it, so it's going to hydrate. And then I follow up with a really good, purely hydrating toner, to really seal in that hydration, but you're still gonna get treated, and it's a mist. I love mists because they're so easy to use. Okay, final verdict. Of course, everyone needs a Rovectin Lotus water toner in their life, but if we're purely talking about prices here and you're in a bit of a pinch, the Isn't Tree Green Tea Toner is like $8 on Style Vanna right now. It's usually, I think, 20, but that's the biggest deal I've ever heard in my entire life, so please go check Style Banner right now. I'll link it below, this toner and all the other products, but if it's still $8, you better go snatch it up right now. Serum time. I think even if you have oily skin, serums are also a good thing for you to use. They're still in the hydrating step, so they're not going to add any extra oil to your skin. A follower commented this the other day saying that oily skin is just another version of dry skin and I completely agree that's a great way to look at it because even though you're producing a lot of oil, you still need the same hydration that dry skin needs. It's just the fact that you want to like strip the oil away by not adding hydration which is not the right mindset because if you don't add hydration, you're just going to produce more oil. So you might as well listen to your skin, do it a favor and add in the hydration that it needs. This is the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid. This is like a classic one. It's $9. It is pretty small, but it is the most basic serum that you can possibly get. Hyaluronic acid is a really good hydrating ingredient. The only thing to note is that when you do apply hyaluronic acid, it's important to have a damp face either with water or your toner. This is another favorite that I mentioned earlier. It's the Be Plain Sika Serum and actually on their website they market it as a serum for acne prone skin because Sika is going to calm your skin, also hydrate and help your acne heal which is so important. I also empty this one so I can't show you the texture. The last one that I want to mention is the Sioris A Calming Day Serum. This one is also very liquidy and I like this opening look. So satisfying. And guys, when I tell you do not sleep on Style Vanna, I mean it. This serum is originally $30, but as of now when I'm filming, it's only $15 on Style Vanna. They got the hookups for you, okay? So just like, you know, when you wake up, Look at Style Vanna, look at what deals they have because they have so many all the time. It's like all the time too. It's not just like seasonal, I don't think. But this one is really calming. Exactly what it says in the title, a calming day. A nice hug for your face. It's not heavy at all but still gives you ample hydration. I really, really like this one. I've been using it every day. I'm actually going to apply this one right now and also... A big highlight of this formula for me is that it has Centella Asiatica. I love that ingredient in general, like anything with that ingredient, please give it to me because I know it's going to be really calming, really hydrating on the skin and it's just a powerhouse ingredient. I also want to mention the Hero Cosmetic Serum Stick. This probably won't be for like every day because if you have acne prone skin, you probably don't want to like get a lot of bacteria on these types of products. But when you're on the plane, it's so cooling. It feels like ice. So for serums, honestly, if you can get this one for 15, definitely go get it. But if not, if it's at its regular price, I would recommend the Be Plain one. Like gel moisturizers. There's so many gems in this category that I have for you. It's not even funny. So the first one I'm going to start out with is the Bubble Level Up Gel. This one surprised me so much. First of all, it has this pump that I like. This one's a brand new one because I left my open one at school. But it has this really nice texture, first of all. Bubble really came out of nowhere as a brand and they really impressed the skincare community. Or at least me. This one is really light, but it has a thickness to it that's slightly heavier than your typical gel cream. Like it doesn't totally dissipate into your skin. You can still feel some of that moisture, which is so nice. 
Like it almost feels like the Glossier Milky Jelly but in a moisturizer. It feels so good, it's unscented, and it kind of bursts on your skin into water when you put it on. Next up, of course, I have to mention the Rovectin Lotus Water Cream. I like this one because the formula is really nice and they also give you cute little stickers to decorate it. This one has also a watery texture. It's so plush, like it's definitely, well, it's called a lotus water cream, so it's a water cream. But look, it's just so plush and it's so moisturizing. It's very milky on the skin. But again, as you rub it in, it kind of bursts into a thinner, watery texture. It feels so refreshing on the skin. The classic Verse Dew Point Moisturizer, I talk about this one all the time. I honestly like this one because, well, the formula is really good. But it's mint green and yeah, packaging just gets me. But this one is a little bit thinner than the previous two. It is again very watery but it's honestly hard to differentiate against these water creams because they're all so good and they're all like neck to neck you may not be expecting this one i certainly was not expecting this one when i saw it come out but the item beauty i have the overdue but she also has a light sauce one for combo to oily skin but the thing that really surprised me well this is the thicker one but the thing that surprised me about these moisturizers is that they have Centella Asiatica as the seventh ingredient, which for a really affordable product is quite impressive. Like Addison, Addison, you're doing something right, okay? It does have a little bit of a slightly funky scent. It's not fragrance per se, but I'm not sure if the light sauce one has it. Okay, I saved the best for last. If you're not seated, sit down. You're going to get your mind blown. You need to brace yourself. This is the Inky List Omega Water Cream. I honestly do not see a lot of people talking about it, but first of all, this, guess how much this is? This is $10 and you're getting almost two fluid ounces. But the absolutely mind-blowing part is if you like the Tatcha water cream, which who doesn't like the Tatcha water cream, this is an exact dupe for it. I'm not even kidding you. Like it's thick like the Tatcha cream, but then as you rub it in, it turns into water. When I first found this out, and I posted a reel about it. I literally was so mind blown. The fact that it's $10 and that not many people talk about it and that it's an exact dupe for like a $60 cream. More people have to know about this. This is hands down such a great formula for the price, the dupe quality of Tatcha. Guys, I'm gonna say this one's the winner just because of the price and because of how it mimics the Tatcha water cream so well. If you have oily skin and you have not tried this or considered buying this, what are you doing? What are you doing? Last step, we're moving on to sunscreen. This is a little bit tricky because I know for oily skin, you want something light and airy, but at the same time, you might have sensitive acne skin. So all of these are mineral based except for the stick one. This is the Hero Cosmetics. It has a green tint in it. Some people don't like it, but personally, I think that it helps to cancel out some of your redness that you might get from acne. Wow, it still has some life in it, okay. See, it has a green tint, but when you rub it in, it kind of like disappears. So you don't have to worry about it making your face green and also acts like a little bit of a color corrector to cancel out your redness. I know that when I post this, it's also the peak of summertime. And I know that if you're watching, you want to really protect yourself and reapply that sunscreen. And for that, I really recommend the Isn't Tree Airy Sunstick. That is another one I forgot at my apartment. I left all the good things at my apartment. But that one is really nice because it has hyaluronic acid in it. So it's going to hydrate your skin, but at the same time, it's pretty matte. So it's not going to make you dewy. It's not going to add to the grease. 
and that one is just so good it's also always on sale at style vanna the last sunscreen that i want to mention that pretty much no one talks about is the pipette sunscreen it's mineral based i think because it's meant for babies but honestly a sunscreen for babies does not make it any different for adults in fact maybe it's safer i don't know this one is a mineral sunscreen it looks like this I also think you're getting such a great deal because you get 4 ounces for the full size for $15 which is pretty unheard of especially since Pipette is not a drugstore brand I don't think but I'm going to use this one on my face today hold on last time someone told me that I wasn't applying enough sunscreen I'll apply more this time I just want to show you that when you blend it in there's no white cast not too shiny not too matte I'm going to use two fingers worth and just apply it all over. It's a pretty light whip texture, so it's not going to clog your pores. Don't forget your eyes. Just lightly tap it on there. And your hairline. I usually use a sponge because whenever I use my fingers, it's so hard to get into the hairline without ripping out my hair. So this is it blended in. On camera, I know it looks like it has a bit of a white cast, but looking in the mirror, it totally rubbed in and... I'm my normal skin tone but I would definitely recommend this one it's $15 that's a really good price for what you're getting for ounces and you can also apply it onto your body and not feel too guilty about using like a $50 sunscreen on your body so highly recommend you check this one out so underrated a quick highlight is that it's also unscented but you know some sunscreens that are unscented but have like a sunscreen smell this one does not have a sunscreen smell I don't know how they manage that but We've reached the end. This is my skin after the milky skin routine. It looks really healthy, plump. I feel really good and hydrated. I hope you enjoyed today's video and it answered some of your questions for an oily skin, milky skin routine. Anyone can achieve it no matter your skin type. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!